And with that, I want to welcome everybody to Crashing Game Night. My name is Matt Diorio, your host, as always. Tonight, uh, we are down our maitre d' of services. Jason is not able to meet with us tonight. We don't know where Gerard, the beanied one, is. He'll be along shortly. But I've got my uh, Denver Fan Expo partner in crime with me tonight, the babyface one, Theo Walski. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Uh, do we have any bets on why Gerard is not here? Um, I, I feel like top options are traffic. Okay. Uh, not aware of a clock. Ooh. Pooping. Or getting food. I feel like those are can the top I, Can I add in option five? Okay. What's option five? He's fishing. Oh God. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. I like that. Let's see how that goes. So you're gonna um, go with fishing. I'm gonna go pooping. All right. And we'll see who we'll see who wins out. All right. Well, I'm gonna lose the fishing bet because he is not online currently. Uh, but so... remember, remember he hides his status frequently on PS5. That is true. But he was last online an hour ago. He, he pulls a me. Yeah, he was last online an hour ago. And I know he was working on Final Fantasy, so... Okay. Anyways, we'll kind of get started anyways. So, have you recovered from the weekend yet? Uh, My feet are still barking from everything. <laughs> my back still hurts. Yeah. But uh, I like looking at the things that I got, so I'm happy. Did you get them bundled all back together? Yes, but now I got to figure out how I want to display them. So I looked at things on displaygeek.com, but yep. primarily those are cardboard. I feel like that's not fancy enough. Um, so I'm doing some shelves or and or more of the pop stackables ones. Okay. The, so we'll see how that goes because I mean, Display Geek has their acrylic ones, but I, I felt like they didn't necessarily like interlock like the pop ones do. So I thought that was better. Fair we'll see how it goes. I'm interested to see pops. how you do it. I didn't get any uh, really additional ones on Sunday uh, while I was with my dad, but I did. I, yeah. I got two from the same guy. It was Justin Briner. No voice of uh, Deku from My Hero Academia. Okay, not too bad. Yeah. Granted, I br- granted I brought the full the the accordion folio full again, just in case. But no, <laughs> just in case of what you wanted to drop another like five hundred dollars. Just in case, yeah. I mean, like because I got a lot of repeated pops that need some signatures. <laughs> yeah. So let's go ahead and just kind of give our thoughts on on Fan Expo um, this year. We'll use that as a good starting point for tonight. Um, so you went all four days, right? No, you went three days. You went Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? right. And I went, we went Friday and Saturday. Um, how did you, how did you like it compared to, last year because we did have our complaints last year that it was a little too tight in there agreed i definitely like that they opened it up quite a bit like there was quite the large section in the back that was opened up this time around i didn't know Mm -hmm. that was possible but uh i really appreciate that they did that i feel like the at the very least the aisleways were slightly larger which was Mm -hmm. nice for going through Um, especially with a wagon yeah (laughs) <laughs> which I'm sure was a godsend to have with you. Oh my God, it was. <laughs> um, um, I did like that they expanded on the kids' lab area. It, I, I walked around a little bit of that mm-hmm. and I saw there was quite a few activities for kids. And, and not necessarily just for kids, but like people wanting to learn things. I saw that there was um, a Pokemon card mm-hmm. battle demo you could learn Ooh. and everything. Mm-hmm. Too, I thought that was pretty cool. They were also doing like a little like theater area. So kids could learn down, uh, go down and learn about like special effects. Um, Patricia Somerset did a, how to become a voice actor 
segment over there as well. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. Yeah. So when you walked into the, the lab area, it was over on the left-hand side. It was a little carpeted area you could sit down at and I had a little presentation area. Yeah. I saw like a, it also had like a little panel table too, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I walked by that and saw that. I didn't know she was doing anything there. Though. Yeah. Yeah. It was when we walked over there, we were just doing it as a um, place to just sit down for a second while we were uh, waiting for our time to go catch. Uh, I think it was to wait in line for you for Brie Larson. Yay. Thanks. Um, so we just stopped, <laughs> sat down for a minute. Um, and there was just like a schedule off on the side. Um, oh, okay. So it was, I, I appreciate it. Yeah. I referenced the the wagon, right? Because um, we took, we took uh the Kodog on Saturday, which, oh my God, he is like the, the best wingman for a con. He is. Um, he is like, Bro, that like imagine imagine his level of game like skyrocketing if he cosplayed like even more than than his hat. He wants to he wants to wear one of his like Pokemon costumes tomorrow, like next year. Oh, go as like Charizard or Charmeleon or whatever he's got in there. But um, no, so like Friday wasn't all that busy in my eyes. Like I mean, in comparison, yeah, yeah, and apparently. Um, Apparently, we learned that I should have gone Thursday because it was apparently dead, and I could have had a lot easier time getting my signatures <sighs> than on Friday. Next year. Yep. Let's just think about that. Maybe going even for a half day. Well, next year, uh, we're, we're, we're going VIP as best as we can is if, if we can well, catch yeah. it. Before well, it even then, though, it's, it's Thursday. Um, they've already got the date set. It's 7-3 through 7-6. It'll be that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, they're picking Fourth so, of July weekend again. Huh? Yeah. So this time around, maybe go on that Thursday. I feel like weekend? that's a little ballsy. I feel like that's a little ballsy to do it during a holiday. I don't know. So it so if it's the third through, that would mean it the fourth is on a Friday. So Correct. what do you think? Do you think it's gonna be a dead Friday because of the holiday? Or do yes. you think people will just like screw it? Let's go. I think it might be a dead Friday, but I think Thursday might not be like as busy. I think it's going to be like, ooh, 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 hold on. Okay, Gerard, we have a friend what event up? going on. What was the excuse? What kept you? What kept you what from? What kept a- you? Oh, I was at the bathroom. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn it! Be I win. <laughs> I win. I said um, you were pooping. I, I- yeah, uh, it was it uh, poor, poorly timed. I, I was like, and that, and I did that not ladies, look at the time. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is the beanie one Gerard Barrera joining oh, us. Oh damn! <laughs> oh hey, what's yes. going on, nerds? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. So we all know why I was a li- why we were a little late. Hey, uh, yeah, my bad. That's uh, when well, nature yeah, calls, hey, man. Nature hey, calls. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, we nature were just... was calling. I answered. <laughs> Now, we now, I, now I'm gonna just because it's early on. I'm gonna put it out to our comments anywhere, <laughs> whether or not it would have been that much better if he called from the toilet. Oh shit! <laughs> Dialed in. Exactly. Hey, yo, <laughs> I believe there was there was one. There was I I do believe there was a moment or there was one uh, a day where I almost like. Something was going on. I ate something wrong. Where I was like, mm, I might, I might have to call in. Uh, this is taking too long. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so we're talking about Fan Expo. Um, giving our uh, nice, nice. our little review of this year's. So, um, but yeah, so you went with a list in mind on Friday. I had a list yes. in mind, and my wife had a list in mind. Um, so I was able to get my list surprisingly done nice um on yeah, th- on friday these these two like they, it's their second time going and they're very much surpassing me in the knowledge in order to get things done because like <laughs> they had they each had like at least two things before i even got to my one yeah and like it was insane no, so no, w- okay. we all know that mass effect is pretty much my one B of favorite franchises ever. So for the viewers at home, 
we have Fem Shepherd herself. Sick. Jennifer Hale. That's cool. Yo. And I even gave her choice. I said you can join do this page, or you can do the other page that has Fem Shepherd on it. And she's like, you know what? I'm partial think, to this one because it's right there when you open it. I, I think uh, she picked a good one. Uh, I like that page. Oh, yeah. too. Also agree. I feel like that that's the classic, like that's even on the game, the like the game box. Look. Like, yeah. Yes. And then there is Saren oh, himself. Garris. That's cool. No, that's Saren. That's the villain. Oh, Saren. Oh, dang. That is Fred. Okay. That is Yori. Oh, that is cool. And then his was easy. Like I hit him up um first thing. Ooh, I forgot. I've got one other thing for that. Uh-oh. <laughs> because with Fred, I did go to him first because he had like no line and Jennifer hadn't shown up yet. Um, which a lot of that is because she had a delayed flight coming down from uh Vancouver. But you know how we have our Holy Grail. Oh, I'm yeah. For the oh, show. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so not only does Fred Pace play Saren, who I think is one of the best villains in gaming, um, oh, but sweet. he also plays the Don, Don Corneo in Final Fantasy Remake. And that is awesome. It. And as he signed it, he did the little Don Corneo laugh. <laughs> and it was hilarious. Um that's cool. But even as he was signing this, he was doing Saren's voice as he wrote out oh, the line. Oh, cool. Um, and then finally, the one that I thought that I wouldn't get, just because Jennifer was late and she didn't get in until get to the convention center until like 2.30 on Friday. So by the time they got mm -hmm. through the line, it was late. But um, Keith David, who we all oh. know as the Arbiter in Halo. Mm -hmm. Um the witch doctor in princess and the frog um, president in rick and morty yeah he's also Jesus. um goliath and the gargoyle i'm <laughs> oh, not surprised um but he's also captain anderson or councilman anderson depending on how you go with the game and your choices That's but right. i was able to get his autograph right oh, there sweet with that's anderson's so awesome. pictures oh that's and tight says, dude. to matt all the best Love Keith David. Hey, oh, oh, that's cool, man. That's super so, cool. And then, um, so Friday, um, also too, along with this in between, waiting for Jennifer and stuff like that, um, I was able to go with my wife to get Jim Beaver's autograph. Um, he plays Bobby in Supernatural. Nice. Um, Tell everybody what else he did. Kind of hit on my wife. No, it was playful. Um, so we're standing there. He, you know, he asked my wife's name and he's like, oh, okay. And he looks at me and he goes, so who are you in relation to her? And I was like, I'm her husband. And he's like, well, that answers my next question. <laughs> and then he proceeded to ask her, have you ever ridden on the back of a Harley before? Oh my God. So it was all in fun. It was all in fun. And he was great about it. Um, and then we did our supernatural picture with the whole entire yes. cast. And I saw that one. That was cool. Damn you, Padalecki. Oh, so if you look at the picture, right? So Jared has his arm around my wife and then he's got reached over and like has his Grabbed hand on my shoulder. And it's almost funny. like tapping your shoulder going, sup like, dude. Bro. You're out, yeah. bro. You lost. <laughs> it was all in fun, you know, and, and whatnot. And and Jim Beaver, you know, saw us, recognized us, and he just kind of gave me this smile. Like, oh, I was like, you know, I, I was like, well, two more just got added to my wife's hall pass list. Oh my god, <laughs> that's so funny. Um, wait, you know, the ones are that we I including know, Jim Beaver on the hall pass list. Is that what just happened? Dude, if she asked, if if he were to ask her out on a date, I can't say no. It's fucking Bobby, you know. All right, all right. But um, so as we got those autographs, we uh, you know, Theo had his adventures in Anime Land. I was all over the place. Well, I was stuck in one corner. 
corner, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but I, I heard. Uh, I, yeah, I, you had a good. You had some good days. You had a. You had a. You had some pack full days. I had pack full days. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, granted, what I only got like five people's autographs on Friday, so I got Justin Briner, who is the voice of Deku from My Hero Academia. Sweet. Cool. Say, Jerry, you should know that. I do Dude know who Deku is. At least. I, do, I know not who necessarily Deku is. Justin Brenner's. No, um, no, but I know who Deku is. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, I I got um, Pauline. I'm gonna butcher her last name. Blinken heard. Uh, she is the voice of Luffy from One Piece. Okay. And Christopher Sabat, who is the voice of All Might from My Hero Academia, as well as Did Zoro you? from One Piece. Then uh, Zach uh, Aguilar, who is the voice uh, Tanjiro in Demon Slayer. And I'm, I forget her last name, but her, uh, the voice of Nami from One Piece as well. So I was in this oh, one sweet. little corner in oh, lines yeah. forever. Oh, cool. Uh, it's the, the longest, li- longest line I was surprised by being in was for Zach's. Zach's, I was in there for three hours. Is that the um, last one we went to? That was the last like one. Pretty much when we closed out freaking Panic yes, it, for Friday. Yes. Damn. Uh it w- it was yeah. to the point where like I was still in line when they said uh You have 30 uh, minutes. The floor will sh- will close in yeah. 30 minutes. So I was like but and at least I was close enough to where I did, wasn't minutes. worried about it. Oh okay. <laughs> but they while I was trying to talk to Zach, they they were trying to announce uh about uh, reserving your booth location next, for exhibitors. Next year. Oh my god! For exhibitors. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. this is great. Trying to have a so, conversation, but uh, no, those those were that was my Friday. Uh, it was definitely very filled mm-hmm. uh, with getting things, but uh, and yeah, I, Supernatural was our only photo op that day, right? Friday, yeah, yeah, okay. And then Saturday was. Um... Let's hear. My wife got her uh, Book of Shadows signed. She has a replica of the Book of Shadows from mm-hmm. Charmed. So she got that signed by Holly Marie Combs, who is the only one of the Charmed ones who actually showed up. Shannon canceled a couple weeks ago. Rose canceled last minute. So, um, bummer. Yeah. So you guys had that photo op. Um, we got um, my wife got a signed print from Gina Davis, oh, which. God. Um, right next door to her was Sir Susan Sarandon, but Susan pulled a Chevy Chase and decided to go all black curtains all around her little Oh, booth. I didn't know she did that. Yes, that was her. It's like sitting in the corner. Okay. It's kind of like what Chevy Chase did last year on the opposite end where he was all behind black curtains. Wow. And, yeah. Which is not so bad because like, I actually kind of feel like that's a little bit better than what others were uh were left to do not necessarily your choice no but cameras was the yeah it was the crew going no photos no photos blocking everybody yeah. from taking yeah. photos from a distance um, which is fine i understand i mean like they're, and uh, it's a more subtle way it's a better way to you know did yeah. get an autograph from it, but it yeah. did get to see but that's surprising richard, richard dreyfus kind of pull on up in his little uh you know hover around or whatever i call him like he's he's looking old man like is it's he... Richard he didn't Dreyfus have a hoverboard, is... did he? No, um, it's you know those little oh, okay. like, like Mr. segways, Mr. Them, like, Opus, Mr. Holland's Opus. You know, like the little like little like motorized wheelchairs that like the grocery stores and stuff like that. Those yeah, types yeah, of yeah. Things. Oh, he came in okay, okay, one okay. Of those. Um, okay. Oh man, yeah, Doctor Holland's I, Opus. I love that movie. <laughs> I gotta say though, it's such my, a great movie. My son pretty much had us beat in terms of interaction. Yeah, he he like, made out like so, a bandit. So we took we took Kodog. So he the first got thing three was, autographs. Um and pictures. Yeah. So That's awesome. first we went to our Charles Martinet, the voice of Mario. Um, mm-hmm. so that was like his, this is his birthday present, right? It was going to Comic Con <laughs> or Fan Expo to see Mario because we all know we've talked about this. And Theo was there for it. He's met Kenny James, the voice of Bowser. So we couldn't yep. not have him meet Mario while yeah. Mario's in the freaking state. Um so we get up there. Um, he picks a Super Mario Galaxy 2 print of it's the one of the cover where he's riding also, Yoshi. Great choice, too. Great by choice. The way. Out of all the ones, great that's choice. like the best choice he had. Yeah. Um, 
so Charles signs it. And as we're saying, we're telling him, Hey, this is his birthday gift. You know, he flips the print over and does a second signature, wishing him a happy birthday oh, like on the back cool. of the print. Um, and then does pictures with him and stuff like that. So we went right next door to Roger Craig Smith, who plays Sonic. So, which is hilarious. They've got Nintendo versus Sega, like literally next to each other. Um, Roger, um, went and signed happy birthday on the front of the print. And then because he and Charles had been already doing like a back and forth kind of like, you know, battle, so to speak, like Nintendo versus Sega flips the print over and writes, Bowser can't catch me and signs it again. <laughs> and does pictures with um with Cody and he even did the the Sonic arms behind him oh, side by side cool. with Cody. And then Dang. like he didn't have to do this, but we had told Roger that hey, you know, my youngest couldn't make it because he's just too young. He's only four, right? Yeah. It would have been way overwhelming. And he is like, Oh, look, a kitty, I'm gonna go run over there, right? And that was too crowded <laughs> for him and whatnot. Like, so, oh, and then we just lost you in the big crowd. Like, oh yeah, my God. Right. right. So, yeah, yeah. So, so. Roger um, was like, hey, you know what? Looked at his assistant and said, give me one of those blue Sonic prints and signed one Riley. Oh, no charge. sweet. Like, just here. Here you go. No problem. Um, so, um in the meantime, so we ended up, you know, just walking around the day while you guys, while Theo and my wife were doing a photo op with Holly Mary Combs and some other things. Um, I took um, Cody over just to meet Fred because Fred said, hey, stop by the booth, you know, anytime, come say hi oh, or whatever. Okay. Um, and whatnot. And he uh, Cody looked at the, the the banner at his table and it was like, Oh look, it's Mr. Grouper from bubble guppies, which is a show that him and his brother watch all the freaking time. So Fred busted out Mr. Uh, Mr. Grouper right then and there for him. Dude, he's um, already making out like a bandit today or so that day. Mm -hmm. Oh my no, gosh. It gets better. It gets so better. So while oh, we're we'll just more. wait, so there's well, way there's more. more. Um, okay. I think he's only like halfway there. I'm only halfway. Oh there. damn! Um, all right, all right. Yeah. So while we're waiting um, for Theo over with Rosario Dawson, he gets up to the oh, table all of a sudden, and lucky, we're like, "Oh look, you're up man. there already!" So we hopped up with him, like you know, and walked through the line. And Cody got a fist bump from Rosario Dawson. <gasps> no. Just straight yes, up oh. fist bump. Um, she, she she's ju she's just as gorgeous in person, isn't she? More, she's super yeah. nice. She's yeah. super nice. Oh, uh, she's cool. Um, okay, cool, cool. That's great. And then, um, while we're waiting, a li little bit later, we're waiting for the Brie Larson lineups. Oh, which, awesome. um, good God. So during that, Cody decides, hey, I want to go wave at the King of Hell, Mark oh. Shepard, who plays. Crowley in Supernatural. So they go up to wave at him, and Mark pulls him up to the table and said, you know, come on up. No He didn't way. have anybody going on. He has something to say. Come on up. He played give me five, up high, down low, too slow with a fucking king of hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's tight. Right? Oh, man. Then we finally get in line for for Brie Larson, which Theo, you were over at a photo op, right? For yeah. Rosario, I think it was. <laughs> they, they, and, their scheduling was like all overlapping stuff. Like so, cause... luckily, mm. Theo got back because they shut off. If you were in the line, you were good. If you got out of the line, tough. If you were basically outside the line and somebody was in line waiting for you, they shut that off too. So Theo got back oh, in line just in time. Dang. So, okay. We get up, we get through the line. Um, oh, there's more honestly... to that that you did not experience for that timing. So <laughs> no this way. this spe this speaks out to the kindness that there is at convention centers. So the photo ops always told you to line up or get ready to line up 15 minutes before your time. So my mine was at three, so I got over there at 2:45, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I got there. They already finished calling my group and moved to the next. And I got in and they're like, uh, no, just go into the other group. So you have to be like basically at the back of the line. I was like, oh, shit, this is going to take forever. Uh, there was this really nice family that uh, had adorable kids, by the way. 
Um, but I asked since I was in group two along with them, if I could just sneak in into there and they let me in. Uh, oh, so that's cool. So mm -hmm. I cut off at least like a good five minute wait and yeah. in order to make it just in time for Bree. So oh, we get up to the great. table. So thank you for that so family. Yeah. We get up to the mm -hmm. table for Bree's signature. And she starts having a conversation about Mario Odyssey with my son. Yep. That's awesome. Like sitting there having Mario a whole day he's conversation. Not only is he making out like a man, but man, he's kind of a he's he's a smooth operator. And then yep. <laughs> we, after we finish that, we're like, okay, the day's done. We're gonna go get some food. We went stop by see Fred on the way out. Um, which Fred can't wait to see in October when we're all out there. You come do the we're gonna do the Final Fantasy dinner. Um dinner. so we're sitting there just talking to Fred and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, Cody realize, looks at the poster and it's like, down in the corner is another one of his favorite characters, which is the Storybots, which is another educational show. And we're like, oh, you're, cool. you're Bang? And, he, and Fred's like, yeah. And he did the voice for Cody and ah! busted out and busted out a print of Bang and signed it. Oh sweet! Dang, he made, yeah, so, he made out like a banner. He made out like Dang. a banner. So overall, awesome. I think, and he got a picture in front of the banner with him too. Yes. Oh sweet! So he got like all sorts of like hooked up. Oh man, like, mm -hmm. he is the ultimate comedy, we're, we're, dude. Yeah. I, I love it. You're already uh, you're already starting the yep the young one um, on, on on a convention kick. I love it. Yep. And I do want to shout out um one vendor that was there, and that's Copper Coast Confectionery. Oh jeez! Fudge was fan fucking tastic. <laughs> you would fun, dude. Like the yeah. first I day, I was some, like, I bought some on Sunday. It, I, I admit it's it's pretty damn. It was good. good. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fantastic. Oh awesome. Um and yeah, they're from Pittsburgh, and they ship all over the country. It's like oh, twenty five cool. bucks for a pound of fudge from them, which honestly, that's gonna be well fucking worth it. It was fantastic. I had the. uh Chocolate peanut butter, um, which was almost like a Reese's mm. peanut butter mm. cup. It's just like fudge forms. I yep. forgot about your your chocolate uh, fix. I mean, if you can find a good place. In fact, that mm -hmm. uh, it's very serendipitous. I've I've been to this place twice within the past week, and I've I I, it actually Nick's. made me think of no 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 <laughs> different place. Uh, it's actually um uh, uh I've actually thought about uh, uh, of suggesting it and taking you guys over there not only for um they have great sweets like they're they're uh like fudge like moose cake is too amazing mm. but um Dang. they're known for their roast beef sandwiches their lamb sandwiches mm. their you know they double dip them in au jus sauce and then they give you au jus on the side they're the place called philippe's it's a mm. uh, uh, known staple in la and uh i i need i've Totally forgot. Well, we got a weekend. There. We got a weekend coming up in October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we can squeeze it in, don't worry, Jerry. I, I, I won't blame you for it again. <laughs> um, we'll have to so resort to of, coming back to this episode. Yeah. yeah no, so right. speaking of <laughs> comics and and all of that, uh, today the the was it today or yesterday the trailer for Agatha All Along dropped. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. Oh man, not what um, I was expecting. No, I have to say, not what I was expecting either. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited. Like, like no joke. I know it. Ooh, I, ooh, I know it's Marvel. Marvel. I know it's a show. But Jason's not here. Don't worry. I, I don't care. I don't care. Everyone. Everyone. All I'm the actually going to take a page out of Jason's book, and I, I'm not particularly excited for the story. No, I'm not. No. I, it just. It, it it honestly it looks like something different where like mm -hmm. i'm down to give it a try and and check it out because it looks very offbeat i, I like I'll i was very it, taken but back. it's a character I, I, I really don't care about true Agreed. but i i'm down to watch some like coven type of stuff like i don't know i'll give it a chance it looks something it, it's something different to where like yeah i'm down to give it a try and see what it's about but I understand. I get it. So uh question for both of you. So hmm. since it was, since this is coming out first, and originally it was rumored that a show for, um, I think it's Red Baron. 
the guy, uh, the primary antagonist for um, Winter Soldier and Captain America, Red Skull. That show. Oh um, no, not Red Skull. Oh, are you talking? That one's Captain um, America the movie. Zemo. No, the show. Zemo, Baron Zemo. 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 But was he yeah. Red Baron or? No, he was Zemo. No, Baron Zemo. Zemo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There was rumor that he was supposed to have a show first. Which do you think is better, based off of what we've seen? Having Baron, uh, should have. Should Baron oh, have no. come out first or Agatha? Neither. I would, if anything, I would have done. <laughs> I would have done Baron. You would have done Baron I, first. I agree. I agree. That's I think way, Baron would way have been more a character. Yeah, and the actor. He's more interesting. He's you know he's he's had more I, development. I love that actor. Yeah, and I love that actor. And he he's uh very talented to where like I think he could bring that character to. Uh, mm -hmm. to, like different areas he can really play with it especially yeah the way they oh, set okay. up that character you know it could that would be an interesting show you know the the arms yeah, dealing just... or even like the the i'm he he has so many like hands in different pockets you can bring a lot like within marvel within that show um I, yeah i think it would have been more interesting Okay. I, I don't know. I think for me, with with the state of Marvel right now, they could have mm -hmm. better used their resources on other characters but that people also, actually valid point. Care, care Very about. good point. Like, um, because I think that's the problem that you know, like the accolade is running into is that you pick the time and a subject that not many people really care about, unless you're a diehard Star Wars fan that has consumed all star wars from old republic through high republic mm -mm. it's I'm not a fan i've tried i've started watching it i'm just not, not a fan i'm not connecting with it no thank you and and don't get um, me wrong the uh the the uh junia character was uh very cool um the the final the final enemy like he was very cool don't get me wrong um there were elements of the show that like yeah, I can see, but uh, fundamentally, like the writing and the story, I cannot be on board with they because it just discredits so much of the original. Where like I can't be on board. I'm sorry. But they also there's a couple of things I've seen where they actually did go back into the like what's considered legacy and not canon and make it canon. <laughs> you know, like, but okay. overall, I just. I can't get into it. I like, and I, and the, the one that plays the, like the lead Jedi um, who's from squid game. love the guy, like as an actor and everything, he's great, but I just can't get into it. So, um, so let's talk about um, on the gaming side. We do have a misstep, I think by, um, by Microsoft to the theater. Do we? Um. So today it was announced. Uh, we have a couple articles. Tom Warren at the Verge did one. Um, this one I've got pulled up here. Um, is from uh, Jez Corden at uh, Windows Central. Game Pass is getting some changes. Mm -mm. Um. Yep. So with it, so basically they are getting rid of. Xbox uh, Game Pass for consoles, which was that very, very base tier that they had. Um, the So new users will not be able to get it anymore come September. Um, and you're only going to be able to get the new the new version and name. It's Xbox Standard. Um, so users uh, currently on Xbox Game Pass for console will be able to maintain their subscription as well as day one games. The key that is key mm. current subscribers for game pass for console will be able to get day one titles okay which has been a big thing of xbox's game pass right play day one True. on game pass okay so in its place they are going to start a new um game pass standard it's gonna be 14.99 you will not get day one games. Mm. Okay. 
So they're already eliminating their that part of thing. So Doesn't I'm guessing it, like this is like their basic. Uh, this is their basic uh, consumer access the like access. Yeah, I think this is like the casual of the casual gamer. Oh, I yeah. guess. So, with that, um, you, it will include the the multiplayer. You know, yeah. um, so also happening in September. Microsoft will only allow users to stack Xbox Game Pass for console users for up to 13 months. So basically, the cards that you can go get at the store and whatnot, you're only going to be able to stack those for up to 13 months after uh, September. That's so, that's so annoying. Um, if you have more than 13 months stacked, you won't, you know, already, you won't be impacted. But anybody else going further, you have a 13 month limit. Mm. Um. Game Pass Ultimate is not going to change. Wait, I don't but fully it is understand getting... that. Like, so you know, you know how on PlayStation, uh, if you got like a couple year subscriptions and you redeemed all Plus, three, and you stack them, you're three years down the line. You're good. Like it, it stacks. Yeah, Xbox is not doing that, right? Oh, okay. Correct. That's you are going ridiculous. to stack up to thirteen months. That's it. On oh, the game pass for console. That's the one, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that was like. That, that's a, the one I mean, like, so I was like, that was I a big love thing with Sony. stacking. <clears throat> yeah, because like you could go on like Black Friday when they have those deals yeah, for the correct. year subscription that's what cards, I used to do. you yep. could just buy a few so, and stack them. I will oh, say okay. this for our listeners who are going to listen to it over the weekend or whatever, or who are going to pick so up the, the video on demand. If you have Game Pass for console, I recommend going out and getting cards and stacking it up. Because come September now. 12th, it's gone. It's like you're done. And and with that, your day one is gone too. So if you let that thing run day out, one access too, yeah. you're done. You're gonna have to go to standard and that's it. Um so Game Pass Ultimate is gonna be going up to twenty dollars per month from where it is now. So it's gonna get a couple dollars increase. Um PC Game Pass is also getting a price increase going from ten dollars to twelve dollars. Um, PC Game Pass will continue to get day one games. Um, Game Pass uh, Core, which is just that Xbox Live multiplayer, um, it, you get an annual price increase from or uh, increase to seventy four ninety nine from sixty, so it's going up to seventy five freaking dollars. Wow! Or you can do it for ten dollars a month. Uh, the prices are global. Um, and also anybody with reoccurring billing, you'll see it go into effect on September 12th. So when you look at the pricing, here's your kind of the, the changes across the board. So you can find that. Um, I think Windows Central did a great, great job linking it directly to your, your home country where you're going to be. Um, so you're looking at Game Pass Ultimate currently uh, is $16.99 here in the States. So it's going up $3. Um, your core is going up the, the $15 um, and whatnot. So, so what does the core allow again? Is that more more uh, like... Just multiplayer. Uh, and, multiplayer and stuff? stuff? Yeah. Oh. Um, and then, you know, different regions and stuff like that. So um, Microsoft kind of... Damn. The only got the only thing I got to say is this because I've been playing X Cloud is put the money into starting to get greedy. Starting to get greedy. Yeah. So we'll see. So um, on another note, um, as you can see by the title of our episode, it ends with PlayStation the action figure question mark. You know, kind of a shout out to one of my favorite movies, Spaceballs, which is actually has a sequel. In production right now at Amazon Prime. With yes, Gat. yes, I can't believe that. So we'll, oh, we'll really see quick, that Speaking of out. speaking of random sequels, I saw that Gladiator Two. Yes, is, yeah. uh, has a trailer. But yeah, the, the difference is too. Ridley Scott is involved with that. Yeah, he is. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, anyways, so PlayStation is joining forces with Spin Master uh, to bring out action figures, six-inch action figures. From Hail, uh, from uh, Horizon, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, and God of War. Mm, I'm down. If Jerry's wallet wasn't already screaming due to other things that we've Hold talked on. about, it's, oh, it's Jerry, even worse now. Before you, before you jump on this, oh yeah, type thing. Just wait, okay? Just wait. Oh. Um. 
So yeah, so they're going to be oh, the articulated figures, kind of like you know you see the like the GI Joes and and all of that out there. Yeah. Um, you know, um, so they're up for pre order right now on the PlayStation Gear Store. Um, where available, Amazon in the U.S. and Australia, starting um, you know this was this past uh, Thursday. Um, now before you get going too much, let's look at the pricing. So starting it off. Uh, with Aloy. Yo, that's tight. Fifty dollars. God damn! But I'm also and here's your packaging. Not... Yeah, I'm Take not. A couple surprised. of different faces, a couple of different yeah. hands. Yeah, that's pretty pricey. Um, that's that pretty is... pricey, but I'm I'm guessing because of the accessories and like what it oh. what I, I'm you know I'm sure that's why they justify it, but. I'm not surprised. It's an official figure, like a Sony figure. I get it. Uh, I okay. was really hoping for like. Hold on. Then I was really hoping figures, for like around thirty. The rest of the figures okay. are thirty dollars. Like, damn. They oh, haven't okay. shown Atreus yet, but here is here's Kratos. Oh, uh, actually, that's not bad. Thirty is not bad. That's why I think like thirty. That for even for Aloy, I think that's all right. Um, this one doesn't come with the excess, quite the amount of accessories that it doesn't, sh doesn't um, show just yet. Yeah, it doesn't show just yet. Um, and then you've got Ghost. Um, you've got Varl. Varl's cool. I mean, I will say this for you know a, a an an action figure, the the detailing looks pretty game accurate. It's not. It's not bad. Um, yeah. Who's who's the uh, the uh, manufacturer? It's through Spin Master. Spin who, Master. I have who to look is them up. the makers of Beyblade and and stuff like that? You know the kids' mm -hmm. cartoons and toys. Oh. So, um, and then you've got go to Ghost. Yeah, yeah. Then you've got Jin. Oh, oh wow. that much time. I'm down. Jin that is, one looks is the one. Jin's the one figure I may drop the thirty dollars for. That looks cool. Oh, I'm down. That looks tight. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll see how it all uh you I mean, know, pans I mean Kratos, out there. Kratos is a given though. Kratos is a given. Um, but I think for for thirty dollars, that's a bit Jin and Kratos, I think, are already done. Um those are tight. Yeah, I think thirty dollars is a bit is okay for pricing for those fifty. I but think I'm also kind of not surprised the by the official PlayStation store, but but Agreed. No, this will be the pricing. Th those are those are. Pricing. This will be the Amazon. Should be the Amazon pricing and everything too. So it's oh, gonna be, really? Yes. MSRP, sir. MSRP. MSRP. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. I would say it's a little pricey for for what for what they are. Yeah. But mm -hmm. but are they pricey because we're used to a lower price because of our ages? <laughs> I feel like we're we've moved a into a bit of that, both because I feel that, I feel uh, like area so where everything's let's, just let's more put this expensive. in a context. So we're just gonna be. So Order. that um Aloy statue that I have, yeah, yeah, that was 80 for the statue. Okay. Okay. So to do a figure at 50, you know, a little action figure at 50, I think that's where you're kind of but see then again, I've been you know in, in my experience for figures, when it comes to a $50 price tag, like that's a deluxe figure. So like I would expect like a base. Or something, you know, some more like accessories along with the because it's a six inch figure, it's a standard figure. So uh, along with all the accessories and the faces, like cool, but I would expect at least something like a base or at least like maybe one of those uh, um, little uh, seeker raptor looking um, uh, machines. You know what I mean? Like something else. Uh, I do think Aloy is a little pricey. Okay, so just Actually, real they quick, all are. just to give you some things that uh, Spin Master is involved with, they make Air Hogs, uh, Bakugan. Um, they're part of one of the Batman lines. Um, they Which Batman did, line? Uh, I don't know. It's one of the kids' lines with the bigger figures. Okay. They go find yeah. over in the like the the little kids section. Mm -hmm of toys um 
they did um they make the etch a sketch uh hatchimals kinetic sand mighty express uh the monster jam monster truck toys paw patrol so this is really kind of their first big um, take on like the six inch figure line something like that i mean they're more the uh -huh. hey let's have some you know toys you know looped into kids shows um yeah. they also did you know a, a harry potter line that's for little little kids um so this is going to be their first kind of foray into this type of really, I think, action figure. Yeah. Um, well, I feel I oh, feel like their Batman you know, they Adventures, did, they did pretty good. They did the, the Flash toys inch. too. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll see. They, they look great, um, but who knows how they'll turn out, right? Hopefully, they turn out great so it can justify the price point. They, they were called spinsters? Or what was Spin, it? Master. Spin Master. Spin Master. Yeah. Um, because those price points overall for toys are starting to come up. Like, um, Disney just released a new Star Wars line, and the figures look like the old three and a halfs from the 80s. And they want them, they want like 12 bucks for them. Like, damn, yeah. So, um, it looks like they took the like the Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi. It looks like they pulled the mold out of storage and just re oh, recast Jesus. it. Oh my god. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. So, oh, okay. I remember this. Tw I know this toy line, the Batman. Mm -hmm. toy line. I get it. Okay, not bad. Yeah. So I would I would say in like in the more like. So in the more of the collectible type of um, six inch figure, yeah, I think they're yeah, kind of getting like their into... first foray. So we'll see what happens. You know, so yeah. I, I'm um, I might wait. I might like I'll have to wait and see. Uh, I, I I might have to wait and see. I want to like, see them physical. Like, I want to see them in person where I can hold it and look at it. Yeah, me too. You know? I think I might have to do that. I, I'd wait for it until I see it physically. You know. So, I mean, you're next door to Frankenstein's. You know somebody there is going to have them. Yeah, I mean, I'll find something. So <laughs> they may mark. They may be marked up a little bit, I'll but you know they're going to have be, them. So I would bet that they would be at uh, San Diego this year if they're already announced. Possibly, yeah. Um, but mom, oh, depends. we already, we already got my main focus. Have I so have I showed you the uh, loyal subjects line that that's going to be out there? I'll no. show you. I'll show you. I'll okay. send you later, man. Uh, I I love um, this line. I love this Ninja Turtle line. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's so awesome. Yeah. So we'll see how they come out. They're they're not they're scheduled to start dropping until after the first of the year. So, um, you know, if you pre-order them now, it's not going to be available until one one. So mm, that's fine. Yeah. So I think it's all right. Um, I f I feel like with anything based off of Jerry's reactions, it will go bottom of the list if it showed anything at san diego because he's yeah. got hasbro is going to be up there <laughs> tmnt yeah. i mean come on now yeah hasbro um loyal subjects neca oh man yeah so we'll see i'm excited i can't wait so jerry yeah what have you been playing um what have i been playing i've i've been good i've actually been i i've, I've stuck to my word although you hear that ladies and gentlemen he has stuck to his word on what he's been playing yeah uh uh playing Final Fantasy. Oh, red dead 2 uh, <laughs> <Right tonight. laughs> no i i have been missing it actually but uh no i've been playing final fantasy um and i was uh for I, I was i wasn't as far as i thought i was i was actually um in i was at chapter 10 and mm -hmm. now okay. I just I'm just hitting chapter twelve, so uh, I'm I got a a big chunk of it. Oh, okay. done. Yeah, but uh, so the last I, few I chapters already, are a bit Jason. longer. Yeah, they are a bit longer, but I already oh, know yeah. Jason. He's like, oh well, you still didn't finish. Still didn't finish. Well, yeah, he's not he's, he's not here to accuse yet. you of that. So. I understand, but I know him. Uh, well, well, this was the cutoff. I already know him, but. Well, uh, next week we'll uh, we'll reconvene and see if we both uh, finished 
finish the game. But uh, yeah, I'm planning on finishing it. Is that it? So I've been playing is Final Fantasy. Nothing else. Uh, yeah, and then really just uh, a couple mobile games what like Star War- Star Wars Hunters, and mm. uh, I've been I've been getting back into a little bit learning D and D again. I've been trying to get learn D and D, so I've been playing that the mobile game. There's a D and D mobile game. No, I'm sorry, not D and D, but uh, Magic, Magic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You still I learning? A, I thought you I, knew your shit now. No, no. I, um, I was periodically playing, so I, I really a, need to uh, like dive in and learn. I have a blue black and a and a red blue that would be more than happy to let you play against if you need some practice. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm sure. You gotta make you gotta make them play like I don't know, blue green in order you know for him to be out of his comfort zone so that we really? can play you. Blue green. Okay. With hmm. e- with more green than blue, sir. I used to it. play a you can't stack it with blue and just put in a single green. I used to play blue green evolution. Really? So yeah. Okay. Well, Back in the day, I used evolution. to have a blue green Evo deck. So. Give me see, the colors, you, you, see, right now, I have it. no idea what you're saying. So, like, I have a lot to learn and relearn still. So. Yeah, there you go. Need just need to keep playing. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So, and that's yeah, so that's what I've been playing. That's it. What about you, Matt? Um, oh, what have I been playing? So I do my dailies on magic. Go in and okay. get those done. Oh, so you are regularly playing whatnot. magic still? Yeah, playing it every day. Go in and play. Right on, right on. Do my dailies. Okay. Toy, you know. Toy. Toy, toy. Make people make people quit my with my oppression deck. Um, when it gets up and running. Um, I mean, you call it the oppression deck. Everybody else, including me, calls it the annoyance. It's it, why it's is it the an annoyance? annoyance? Is the annoyance because I can sit you there whittle and away and burn. over and over again, just one life at a time, one piece of damage at a time. Yeah, and d- isn't that the deck where you like kind of continuously respawn a couple cards creatures? that like? Re- okay, oh, yeah, I'm just spawning I've, creatures. I've heard about it's this my one. red blue. I've, I've heard has, about this deck. It has my <laughs> my archers in it. That this, this deck this deck creatures. comes with stories, and it's been infamous where like. You had a couple of rage quitters like upon. Yes, you, I, I have. Don't don't <laughs> let Jace and Chandra pop off with emblems because then it's it's That's done. Funny. Yes, I know that. I know with anything, <laughs> never to let him have an emblem. That's why. <laughs> so he's always like, yeah, whenever I'm funny. playing against him and he's got a freaking uh, planeswalker out, he's like, "Why are you going? Out? Why are you going after my planeswalker? I don't have any blockers or anything. Why are you going for oh my, my life? Because like you ain't getting that <laughs> damn emblem." <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay. I was playing a game. You this have a morning. few tricks up your sleeve. I see. I see. So it. the I was playing a game this morning. <laughs> Somebody let me pop off Jace and the three drop Chandra that gives you um, does damage equal to your red spells mana cost. Jeez, smart. He kept going after my planeswalkers yeah, and smart. and I just got had enough of those little one one little elementals up and running to just stave them off. He kept going after so I was be- like, oh. best piece of advice for you, Jerry, for playing and learning was mm-hmm. the best piece that I got as well is read your opponent's cards more than yours. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Read them. Read them. Because I understand. Yeah, I understand you are allowed to to read them if, because if you have any questions. I, <laughs> to that point, them. I had somebody yesterday that tried to destroy an indestructible God card I was using. Oops. Twice, uh, Theo. I've made that mistake a number of times throughout my career as well, so. Twice. Damn. Back-to-back turns. Mm. Damn. That's Brute funny. force, man. Brute force. Doesn't always do it, but yeah, people know it. Anyway, so there is that. Um, played a little bit of the show. Um, How's the season? Um, I Dodgers lost a couple of games, so ass. now I'm two games back of the Dodgers. That's right. I knew it. Did you I lose the it. games too? <laughs> uh, Cincinnati. 
Oh, damn. Cincinnati. Yeah, in extra the innings. Reds. So, um, mm. damn. That being said, the players that cost me those games are no longer up with the major league team. Damn. Jesus. They have been Cold. traded <laughs> or they have been demoted down to AAA. So, Players better um, fear if you're ever a manager of a team. Damn, dude, damn. you're a cold manager. That... <laughs> you blow saves. You don't need to be up with the team anymore. Go down to the go down to the minors and work your shit out. Um, <laughs> damn. Yeah. Hey, all right. I gotta catch the Dodgers. Um, I will say this. Um, and then part of it was I did lose to the Dodgers as well. Um, Otani in that game is fucking ridiculous. Like. Yeah. It's just like he is in real life. It's like, fuck it. Um, but then it's been predominantly Mass Effect. I'm still working through Mass Effect 2. Um, I've now recruited um, the Doctor. I've got Morden, um, Garrus, and Grunt now. Um, I've Sweet. also got the mer- the Mercenary and the Thief. So um, working on that. Um currently working on the project overlord dlc for it right now because i'm kind of doing everything um all the side questing that's available right now because the next step that i go to is um after that opens up another piece of the story and you got to start avoiding shit so i'm gonna go get stuff done now um, while i can so yeah deal uh i have a brush dust off of fallout shelter so i was about to say uh, man uh, uh, yeah you're bringing fallout shelter back I, I dude i remember the one that came out yeah yeah so i've been playing it on not only pc but mobile on all my devices so i've got like five volts going on right now at the same oh, time sweet. Yeah. yeah oh that's that cool uh, other than that uh some destiny and cod here or there but uh yeah. uh i i saw um uh, Bungie's announcements today for the next acts. So I'm pretty excited mm-hmm. about what's going to be going on in the season. So we'll see how that goes. Sweet. Fair enough. Well, then. Right on. So for everyone that crashed came with nice tonight, thank you. Hopefully, we gave you a little bit of distraction from, from life. Um, for those, you know, for those that are impacted by the hurricane down in Texas and stuff, I hope everything power gets restored for you guys because the heat's starting to crank up down there with the humidity. Um, last time I saw there was like 2 million people without power down in Houston. Um, and what's funny is yeah. I saw a TikTok about this. People are using the Whataburger app to find out where power outages are because there's the the company the power company down there isn't showing where power outages are so basically what they're doing wow. is they're going on the whataburger app and they're seeing all the stores that are closed and that's pretty much where the powers are out the power's out oh wow that's funny wow. man yeah, that's pretty clever. Sad. we we they're are good sad. on whataburger for keeping things like up to date on their app right yeah <laughs> that's so funny but anyways um i hope everyone stays safe down there there's a lot of flooding a lot of heavy rain from the the hurricane it, it made landfall at a cat one and then broke down to a um, tropical storm as it went out over Texas and up through Arkansas and all that. So um, stay safe. Um, it's first time checking out this. Thank you. If you like what you heard, please drop us a follow head on over crashing game um, Check out our past guests, all the platforms were carried on. Um, I am working on a couple of bigger guests for us. I'm not going to drop Ooh. names right now. Um, but if everything works out to fruition, we're going to have some fun. Um, but, uh, just with everything going on, everybody, especially since we've Intrigue. got, we're heading into election season here in the States and everything, but, uh, please just be excellent to each other. That's right. All you nerds, all my nerds out there, all of us, uh, collectively, all of you be you once again, let's, uh, uh, Spread that same message. Um, you be you. You do you. Um, mm-hmm. Let's you just try. Yeah, that's right, baby. And then also let's try and practice. Uh, uh, you know, a little bit of more, a little bit more uh, patience. Uh, let's try and uh, spread a little bit more kindness. Help out. Uh, uh, lend a helping hand. Let's help out uh, each other here and there, because uh, it's kind of still crazy out there right now. And once again, 
you know this election isn't uh doing us any good it's it's bringing out the crazies and we need to just take a step back and just take a breather and just listen and just uh you know be accepting and you know be adults about these things and uh uh let's just try and be there uh for each other let's just try and do and be better and all of you just uh be safe out there and and be uh true to you enjoy and uh j rock is not here so uh i'm gonna take jay's signature my man theo wolski that's a golf clap that's pretty good thank you because i'm making my own i'm making my own that's why they give me crap about doing doing your exit i make it my own because i don't want to take yours you're original yeah, i appreciate that my man well, Theo thank Walsh. you all out there. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. Till next time, TTFN. Ta ta for now. Good night, everybody. Original OG. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that was. <laughs>